And then you also can get value out of your Zen Pulse as well. So that is a 21 two chest on the Waycrest Manor. Absolutely destroyed that dungeon. Holy cow. Maybe we'll get an upgrade. Let's see. Glorious. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm bringing you a 21 Waycrest Manor 2 chest on Fort. This is my damage breakdown, mostly spinning cream kick, rising sun kick, and black elk kick. Those are my top three damage spells. And then for healing breakdown, obviously, you're going to have ancient teachings at the top or near the top, followed by Shaylin's Gift and Awaken Feyline. And these are my talents. Nothing changes for these talents from Dungeon Dungeon. This is what I've been comfortable running this season. These are the talents I really like running this season. Um, but if there's any other builds that you guys are trying or you see any other builds that people are using, please let me know. I'm more than happy to try it out. Of course, I'm more than happy. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic or say, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Yo, how's everyone doing? This is a plus 21 Waycrest Manor. Yeah, that's right. Try it. We uh we're making it. We're making it. We're, doing some we're getting invited to twenties. It's it's crazy, you know. Um, we're fisting, of course. I'm pretty fairly comfortable with this dungeon. <laughs> Hope I don't uh, embarrass myself here, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see how we do. I do have leg sweep there. These also spawn the spitefuls. I just realized, so I probably could have saved drop for it as well, but I didn't. So my my bad there, my bad there, and yeah, this is Fort Spiteful Volcanic, yeah, yeah. So not the affixes aren't aren't terrible. Uh, don't stand in front of the cleave, not of that one, but the one over here. And the really the biggest mechanic, in my opinion, in Waycrest Manor that you want to worry about is etch right there. I don't think you can line it, but you can use defense. I think you can meld it. I'm not net elf. I'm a gnome. But I'm pretty sure I don't stand in the purple on the ground. That's the cleave, frontal, whatever you want to call it. And then, yeah, I think you can meld and like massive is all of that, um, all that stuff, that that cast. So if you're not off, good for you. I'm not. So we, we heal through it. You know, uh, feign death probably works as well with uh, from hunters, which is pretty solid. We're just gonna try our best to uh, time it. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna use our staff on this. Did not. Uh, gonna wrap that little thing. Big heal here. A yeah, little baby three stacker. Also, this is a curse, I'm pretty sure, and I can't dispel it. So, and we have no curse to spell. So, that's also a little unfortunate. I'm gonna diffuse magic towards the end, and we're just gonna crank damage here. Boom. 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 Perfect. Todd here. Boom. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I think Etch is like the hardest part of this, this whole dungeon. I know it might sound silly, but I actually hate it so much. And I'm looking, I think I need to do something to DBM because I don't have timers on my, on like boss fights or anything like that. Or I need a weak aura or something that shows kick that. So I need to like find an add-on that shows like <laughs> when spells are being casted. Probably should do that if I want to try to push keystones. That way it, I can actually like line up my spells and not, you know, guess. Usually I just use my eyes. I know it sounds like weird, but I just like... Look at what skin casted. You it, it, each boss has like it seems like it has most kind of a pattern where it'll cast something and then you know it'll cast something after that. Uh, sweep this and then I'll rop if like any of these spiteful spawn, but I don't. I guess those don't spawn anything, uh, which is kind of nice. Kick that. Don't have kick. Spell that. And uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good right now. Um, I think we're just gonna rop this because it's on me and I don't want to deal with it. We're probably gonna hear this pull so. Uh, we're just gonna do damage here. Really good thing about this fight is uh you could just cleave off the bosses like with Chiji up, which is really nice. Sweep that. I don't have sweep, so I cannot. Spell mind games as well. That's I think that was a reflex from PvP. Like straight up. I see mind games, I instantly dispel it. Gonna use our on use trinket here. Do damage to this one. I kicked into that because uh that's what good players do. <laughs> Uh, we definitely want to do this here. Expel, uh, dampen harm here. Throw envelopments on my shadow priest and just kind of crank damage here. Cocoon this. Do damage to this one now. But yeah, I, I think I need to get DBM. That way I can actually see what's going on. You want to heal. I actually went on the person's life cocoon, but you want to heal that person, whoever gets that debuff above 
uh, which is kind of nice. We, you know, kind of a dodge mechanic there. Just fantastic. Claim. So that after they do the claim or whatever, you they, it's just goes to whoever, you know what I mean? So we're kind of cranking damage, so it's kind of nice to be in a group that actually <laughs> does damage. It's kind of nice. I wish I could send the staff on this one. Why not end it? I see debuff. My instant like thing is to like dis dispel it, but oh, I guess that's a two set. I wonder if Haram make procs two set off of uh <laughs> off of the debuff on the hunter. I bet he does, like straight up. Big heal here. Okay. Yeah, big damage here as well. Oh, this is the hunter survival as well. I forgot this was. Melee hunter, so he's gonna be stacked among bosses. I think I'm just gonna taunt this. Boom. Perfect. Look at that. We're freaking cranking this place already. It is Fort Week though, so it can it can get a little rough. It can get a little rough. Uh we're doing missed here. Let's see. I oh, I have i I'm I'm gonna drink super quick here. I don't think I've Oh no no these are just pads right I thought we were like going up there or some shit like okay we're doing a little little misdirection here to the tank looks like a big pull yep yeah I should have joined Discord should have should have should have joined Discord <laughs> uh, sweep everything here dodge the frontal uh, you can just spin a win here by the way uh, with big pulls I'm gonna actually on you string it here wrap these guys off my boys and we're just gonna just crank. This is a pretty big pull, so I'm just gonna send the Zen Sphere on my hunter because he's survival, so we should be able to just get topped off with how big of a pull it was. Manatee here, 20 stacks. I just made a video going over the uh the PP changes or PP, the changes to Mistweaver that are incoming uh this Tuesday. So I'm a little sad about it. Still a little the mana nerfs. I don't think the mana nerfs are gonna impact um like Mythic Plus that much, which is kind of nice because Mythic Plus is what I'm enjoying doing. But I feel like for raiding and for kick that and for PvP, uh, yeah, they're gonna be pretty brutal. They're gonna be pretty brutal, in my opinion. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, hopefully not. But the meta nerfs are rough. So I'm not a fan. All right. I think for the most part, I just normally just manatee essentially off cooldown. I think I'm just going to Chigi here, right? Sweep everything and just cleave everything. I think I'm targeted by one of them. Yeah, I am. It's kind of annoying. Felt missed here. Dispel this as well. Nice essence font here. Be healing. Good. Good. I do have the staff back kind of soon as well. I kind of want to use the staff... Maybe I should just use this. I think I'm overthinking the staff a little bit much. I think I just use it off cooldown. Like instead of trying to overthink and like min max it, I think I think I'm just sending it like off cooldown, right? Like I just send it here, right? Oh, one million. Oh my god, I just did one million damage in one global there. That's insane. Okay, good. Dodge these obviously on the ground. I'm going to try to get a quick sip. Hopefully, I'm not targeting by the spiteful. And I'm going to get a quick sip going. And then it should be good. Should be should be good. Yeah, pretty chill. I'm good here. Yeah, look at this. Send it on it. All right, let's go. This boss, if I'm going to be quite honest with you, I know most of the mechanics to this fight, okay? I need to look up a video. Or maybe someone can answer in the comments. I'll probably look up a video. I don't know if the ads hit me or not. I'm going to Chigi here so I can cleave off of both and keep my whoever's, like, stunned alive. Uh, you can cleave off of the whoever's wrapped and then the boss. Um, do the fire people do damage? I got to look up a, I gotta look up a video. <laughs> like, truly, I, I think I need to just spend, like, a day just watching a video on every single dungeon guide and and really understanding, like, when certain mobs do certain things. Uh, big damage here, though. Pretty good. Pretty good here. Uh, we're going to get Renewing Mist. I want to keep Renewing Mist on the tank with two set just because um, tanks will tank most of the damage. But I'll throw Renewing Mist on whoever's getting stunned, obviously, so they get the uh, the uh, healing buff. So Rambi's got it. So we're just going to put the Renewing Mist on him for the buff. We're going to be able to cleave off of both of these two because our Blackout Kicks can cleave with the Phalanx Stomp, and we just do damage. I don't know where the fire people are. So I don't know. Maybe... Tanks just, I don't know. I've never, this this boss has never been so easy before in my entire life. 
So, <laughs> All right, yeah, we can cleave here. Chigi here as well. Velt mist here. Should be okay. Should be okay. Good. Yes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Look at all these hots right now. Let's have the Todd on them because why not? And we're just going to keep doing Look at these renewing mist. Oh, I love mist weaver. I lo this is this. When I see the all the hots on people, that reminds me of like mom mist weaver. Yeah. I, I don't know why that boss was so easy. I I no idea why that boss was so easy, but my tank, I think it's just a god. I'm pretty sure. I think my, my tank is just a freaking god. Um, odds are that the tank is going to pull out here. So just pull the trash out. So we're just going to chill out here. The pulse for this is, they're pretty big. So normally you could just stand in your Phalanx stomp and just spin to win. Uh, try to get renewing mist on whoever's taking damage. That way they get the, I'm just going to cocoon you. That way my shadow priest doesn't have to disperse and like not do damage. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you're just kind of spinning to win. Throwing when you miss on whoever's taking damage. That way they get the healing bonus from your two set. And you're just going to keep spinning to win. Dodge. Love this weaver so much. Even though we're getting nerfed hella hard. All right, he's back in. I don't want to. I'm a little scared for him. I'm, I'm, come back here. Come back here. Chi here. All right, this is a big pull. This is I'm gonna on use here. Yep. Big big pull. Big hole. Got dinner dinner bell. Don't want to stand in the circle. That's that's pretty obvious. That's uh I think that's PVE 101 right there. <laughs> you know, try not to stand in that stuff. I have sweep as well. If we need it, I'll press it. Um I kinda wanna see. I think I'm just gonna sweep everything here because spifles spawned as well. Ten stacker here, renewing mist off my team. And then just try to focus on just staying alive here. Because I feel like half these mobs are spitefuls right now. Phalan stomp and just spin everything. Help kill them. Yeah, I think it's just this guy right here. Taught him. Yeah, cool. Fantastic work from uh, from the team. Big damage. And I, I, got a, I got a cloak today, too. I got a cloak from a tall bazaar. I think I need... I need um, I'm going to cocoon you. I know that's the last stand as well, but I don't know. I just I felt the need to. I got a cloak. I need a I need a helm. I need, I really need a helm. I think this Tuesday I'm going to I'm gonna get four set. I don't have four set either, so I'm gonna get four set with the with the helm. And I think my gear is gonna be fine. I think I'll be like four seventy four item level uh, going into next week or after next week. I'm four seventy one right now, so we'll get some big upgrades. Also, you get a a a, a, um, a spark. So I'll probably craft the legs as well uh, with biz stats. And then we're going to be like freaking chilling. We're going to be, those are some big upgrades. Actually, I got to do the neck too. Maybe I'll do the Lariat neck. All right, where's uh, where's my tank? Where are you? Okay, he's just so far. I'm going to rob just to give him some room. But, oh my lord. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, I, I maybe that wasn't necessary. I felt like it was. I, I felt, I really felt like it was. But it might not have been. But I'll cheat you here. Mostly because I have no cooldowns right now. So I just needed like something to catch us up on on just staying alive. And I'm, I'm going to use a little Zen Pulse here. Ooh, the Zen Pulse is so satisfying. Let's sweep everything. Get out of here. I'm going to on use and I'm going to send the Shaylin's Gift as well. And we're going to spin here. Keep renewing mist on my tank for the healing bonus. Send a little Chi Burst here. I'm targeted by one of the ads. Or a Spiteful, spiteful Shades. Not one of the ads. Um, but right now we're doing pretty good. We're at sixty four percent trash. Like we're we're doing pretty solid. I would say I think that's even last of this last of the trash uh, that we need before we can go into this uh, third boss. Okay, I would also like the ring from here. So if the ring drops, um, I better be getting it. Okay, I'm getting real tired of. Not getting many upgrades. I got a cloak upgrade. I'm not complaining about it, okay? Because an upgrade is an upgrade. Like, you know, that's fine. But, you know, you know, give me give me a ring upgrade. You know, give me give me, give me me a helm upgrade. It looks like we did a uh, hero here. So, oh, I'm not going to stand in that. Because I'm a PvE'er. So, I'm not going to stand in. I'm not going to get hit by a mechanic. Because I know all the mechanics. Uh, tenderize, just don't stand in wherever you see the cone. Uh, I think the room is broken up into, like, thirds. So just stand in the two thirds of the room that Rawl the Gluttonous is not doing that frontal. Call servants here. 
I don't know what the strat is really. I've seen teams kill it. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of CCing them. So I'm just going to in-cap this servant. One less thing we have to worry about. That's what I do. I don't know. Just one less thing we have to worry about. Got a 1 million crit there or 907k crit there. And then we want to rob the servants when they close. So you just don't want the servants to get to the boss. Um, and then I think the frontal's coming soon. Killed that. Tenderize right here. Just don't stand in front or whichever third of the room that this is going to. Nice. And obviously you could use roll, you know, just be careful. I've had it, I've had roll bug out recently where I like rolled super far. I don't know if it was lag or something, but I rolled super far and like I got stuck. Uh Todd here. And that's the boss. That was that was a really fast boss kill. Holy cow. God, you do love it when people do damage. Let me tell you something. When you're a healer and your 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 group is doing damage, you do definitely love to see that. Um Okay. Okay. I'm just going to manatee here. Okay. Okay. We're leaping. We're pulling. We're still pulling. <laughs> okay. I think it's a decently sized pull here. On use. 10 stacker. That's disperse. Spinning. Sweep everything. Or sweep whatever can. Etch is just super annoying to deal with. This is a curse. I'm going to diffuse magic here. Uh, there's just not much I can do about it. Yeah. We have no curse to spell. Decurse, if you will. Yeah, a good wall there from Harambe with the uh, beautiful awareness that uh, Etch does a lot of damage, man. It does a lot of freaking damage. All right. I'm just going to cocoon. All right. We're not, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm not even going to stress about it. There's really not much else for me really to cocoon. So we're just going to send it there and let's just kill this. Good. Dead. Rob these guys. Go. Where's Harambe? I got you, brother. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I really like that they kept the doors um, open, like they opened up the doors to everything. Because I remember when Waycrest was in, was out in BFA, it was just a pain in the butt. Like you had to do certain bosses at certain times, kick that, and like now it's just like okay, okay, big, okay, big pool here. All right, relax, relax, calm down, calm down. You know. All right, big heal, good. Big heal here. Oh, I need mana. I got 18 stacks. I'm going to throw an about mist on Harambe. I'm getting target freaking heat spifles, man. I empathize with melee. I, I really do. I, I, I truly do. You know, like, there's not much I can do about it. I feel that. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. I feel like there isn't, but maybe there is. Renewing mist here. Send a seven stacker. I'm going in hot here. I need damage. Yeah, damage, damage is king. I'm setting it. Boom. Didn't get the crit on it. Revival here. Nice rally. Four stacker. Dispel that. Nice rally from my warrior. Nice defensives from my team. Big damage. Todd. Look at that. 89% uh, we actually should be good to go down to the last part of the dungeon I'm pretty sure yeah we should be we should be good this next poll is um it's a big boy it's 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 a big poll it's a big poll I have GG I have life cocoon and I have Anu's trinket so we should be okay I don't know if we're gonna break it up but if I know this tank which uh you know I don't this is the second dungeon I've done with them I feel like it's gonna be a big poll so oh maybe it's not okay Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah. Maybe he knows. Maybe it's just like, let's not play with this miss weaver. Okay. Let's go a little easy on him. You know what I mean? Sweep everything. And we are cheating right now and we're just going to spin here. We're going to try to kick that, but we can't because we don't have kick available. Now we do. Boom. Dispel that. I'm trying to dispel it. I don't know where you are. Dispelling. Boom. Good. We're getting targeted by Spiteful, so we're just going to cut it out here. Probably just channel some manatee while uh, we're getting targeted. Jump down because we just pulled. On use. Throw a little. Oh, our perfect run. Almost a perfect run. Cocoon this. Was, it this, was this big boy back here? It was this big boy back here that wiped us or that killed us. 
Could have been a perfect run. Could have been. Almost perfect. Big damage here, Todd. I'm just going to Todd it. Shane's gift here. Oh, oh, just stay here. I got you. Nice. Big damage. Uh, I guess I just Chigi because it is Fort Reek. So, I mean, the boss, this boss isn't like insane. So, kick that. Harami's dying to something. Oh, I think he's soul. Is it soul burning? What is it? Soul rush? Flame rush? Burning rush. Okay. All right, let's kill this thing. Nice. I'll wrap these, uh, the shade away from uh, the group. I thought this would have been LOS on that volley, but I guess not. And we have to get them out of the candles. But obviously this tank knows that. Boom. Send the blast. Nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Am I targeted by the shade? Oh, I must have damaged to it. Yeah, we should be okay. I'm gonna drink here super quick. Uh, but we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. So this this boss, I mean, I think there's one mechanic. There's like two mechanics in this fight. At least that I know of. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Um, there's just gonna be somebody with a debuff in a circle around them. Uh, you wanted to make sure you dispel the debuff. Uh, away from everybody. If you don't, it spreads to other people. So I uh, just made sure to, to dispel there uh, when he was away from anybody that was in the circle. And he was fine. Yeah, he was good. And there's going to be like, um, uh, dispel that. And then there's going to be just purple circles on the ground that you're going to want to avoid. Just the standard, these right here, the, the standard PBE and stuff. You know, nothing really else to it. Maybe there's something else. Oh, man, he's loving this hunter, man. He loves this hunter. <laughs> it's like the third time he's gone. And yeah, we're just doing so much damage straight up. And what's really good is we're able to cleave off this. Uh, there is a cash you want to kick uh, from Lady Waycrest if you want to. Kick that. Um, dispel Harambe. Oh, I think he dispelled him. It uh, definitely wasn't me that dispelled him. I don't know. I'm spinning crane kicking here, so I get the cooldown reduction on my trinket or on my staff. But, I mean, it's not necessary, really. Send a Todd here. Why not? Dispel there. Send a 10 stacker. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Actually chilling. Awesome. Uh, these ads do spawn spitefuls, so just be careful. We're probably going to kite down uh, once we start getting, like, on low health. But until then, I think we should be okay. Again, with pulls like these, I put Redoing Mist on whoever's taking damage, and then I just spin. And then weave in a Rising Sun Kick when you can. Um, but we're probably going to start getting Spifles here soon. And that's when I'm going to... I'm just going to Cocoon here. Yeah, this is, it's going to be pretty soon. Here we start getting some Spifles. Sweep. Rop as well. And then we're just going to... Kite them. That's pretty much it. Hopefully everyone makes their way down. If not, survival the fittest. Really, really nothing else to it. <laughs> I don't think any are alive right now. We're just getting targeted by shades or by yeah, spiteful. So they will die off. They will die off. There they go. Nice. Well done. Well done. Uh we're done with trash, so that's fantastic. And now it's just the last boss. And there's really on even on tyrannical weeks, this boss isn't like too crazy. Uh, you just want to make sure you, you kick the dark and lightning from the main boss and then just interrupt the death lens from this guy. And then you want to burn the bodies with this right here. It looks like Harami is going to go for it because he's the ranged and I'm the melee. All right. Kick that. I don't actually have kick right now. Uh, you can in-cap it as well. In-cap this. There's going to be AOE that goes out. Just Shailun's gift it. It lines up pretty well. So you shouldn't have anything to worry about. And you're also, what's really good is you're able to cleave off, you know, your blackout kicks with the thing so that gets spawned. So it makes healing just a little bit easier when it's spawned, especially when you have Chi-G up, like blackout kick, spinning crank kick. There's our lust. Um, I'm not going to waste sweep on this because I think we're going to kill it. But I'm just going to kick that. And yeah, we should be. I'll sweep the next one. I'll sweep the next one. The next ad that spawns, but there's really nothing else to it. Send the on, send the trinket, or I keep calling it trinket. Kick that. Send the. Uh, I'm gonna sweep that. The staff. So used to years of on use trinkets. And then you also can get value out of your 
Zen Pulse as well. So that is a 21 two chest on the Waycrest Manor. Absolutely destroy that dungeon. Holy cow. Maybe we'll get an upgrade. Let's see. Glorious. Glorious, glorious ring.